Okay, I'm back. Welcome everyone to Through House Supercars. Super 2, round 2 from the Red Bull Ring in Spielberg in Austria. I hope everyone is well. Welcome to tonight's action. Should be absolutely action packed. Looking forward to it. So as usual tonight, uh, we are going to start off with Soda Wars around the Red Bull Ring short track. Uh, so it should be fantastic. And we absolutely have a full grid of 375 mil goodness tonight. So really looking forward to this. Should be an absolute rip snorter. So I hope everyone is well. Welcome to all our viewers. Hope you're all well. Hope you're enjoying your Thursday evening. Uh, so we are going to track track net now and just uh, have a bit of a look around and see how everyone's rolling. So just seeing there. So welcome Black Hammer. Welcome Noble. Hope you're well, gentlemen. Uh, as usual, guys, get the chat flowing because uh, I love talking to all you guys. Because, uh, well, you're awesome. Plain and simple. Uh, so it should be great. Definitely looking forward to it. So we are in the Red Bull Ring in Spielberg in Austria. So looking there at uh, Scuba Ben in Mountain Dew. So let's look at our runners tonight. So we've got 78Z or 78Hertz or AKA Mikey in Agwam. Uh, we have Ricky Bobby. Uh, running tonight, we have Crunchy Diff and East Draw the Short Straw and Dr. Pepper. Uh, hello, Mrs. Grimm, hope you're well. Cyborg, hope you're well, mate. Uh, we've got Super Ruse in solo. Oh, yeah. So we're about to get racing. 
quick intro tonight, so we're going to get it out pretty quickly, short and sharp. Thanks for the cheers, good doctor. Appreciate it. So about to go racing. This should be good. Looking forward to this actually. Should be a rip snorter. Here we go. So we have 13 beautiful turned out through house Soda Wars cars on the grid. We've all watched Soda Wars before, so we know what to expect. This is exciting stuff. The cyborg will lead them away. Three lights, four lights, five lights. Racing! And everyone gets off the line fantastically. So that's great to see as they head up towards Castrol. Now, is everyone going to get through Castrol? Well, this is going to be the interesting part. Looks like Scuba Ben, one of our public members, gets in first. Oh, he's gone very wide. So Mountain Dew leads the way, taking the extreme line as always. That's classic Mountain Dew. Got him behind there. Look at the Citrus boys already getting into it. Looking at Super Ruins solo. Light on the fist, so he's going to slam that down real fast. Followed there by Fanta. Alan P, bro. Uh, driven by uh, Ethan, as he wants to be called, or Ethan in NZ. I get it now. Oh, we saw there. Just go back. Oh, 7 Up's gone. Oh, there's been big drama there by 7 Up. Yep, 7 Up is gone. Long gone. Who else was gone there as well? Let's see if we can find there. It looks like Coke's gone as well. Oh, that's big drama, really. We're heading back up the front now. We've got Mountain Dew followed by Solo. So the two Lemon boys are already getting into it. Battle of the Citrus. So looking down at the top five, we have Mountain Dew in first position. Solo there in second. Still second. Fanta's involved as well. Cascade, the plucky Tasmanian, always likes to get involved in a fight, the Tassie boys do. But all the Citrus boys up the front at the moment. So we've got Mountain Dew, Solo, Fanta, Cascade, l &P, Sprite, Agwim. Oh, wow. It's a sour, sour race up front, isn't it? If you're not familiar with Soda Wars, we run 15-minute races. These cars are 375 horsepower. 1200 kilos the bmw e30 m3 beautiful beautiful car a bit sideways there but oh lmp oh he's driving back to invercargo he's had enough that's it packed up his rugby ball and he's going home and solo leading the way followed by scuba ben there in mountain dew oh but look at the cyborg and sprite you just know he's going to hang around this is what the cyborg does Oh, Solo Mountain Dew have taken the extreme line again. And look at that Sprite just goes, thank you, mother, for the rabbits. I'll take that position. Classic driving there by Sprite. Oh, LMP again. Oh, LMP got hit harder than a front rower did in the Bledisloe. He's gone. We heard that. He's gone. Look who's hanging around. No, Dr. Pepper. This is what Dr. Pepper does. Just hangs around. Wait through his opportunity. Jumping on board now with Mountain Dew. Looking at the front three there. We've got Sprite, we've got Solo, and we've got Agwam. Looking behind, we've got Pasito, Cascade, and Dr. Pepper. So poor 7 ups in a little a Mountain Dew, sorry, it's in a little bit of no man's land here at the moment. But he's starting to tack on here, so this is this should be interesting. Looking forward to this. Oh, I can hear him, he's fanning that throttle. He doesn't want to attack too early. Just seeing how it plays out. Great racing so far, though. Fantastic. Classic soda walls already. Oh, Dr. Pepper with the late move. Dr. Pepper's really getting excited now. Checking back up the front now. Solo's taking the lead. Sprite and Agwim are having a bit of a ding dong. Jumping on board now with Sprite. He does take first position as they go through Yock and Rin turn. Heading down now to Red Bull Mobile. Oh, look at Agwam, he's all over him here. 
Agwin was pretty fired up talking to him pre-race, so he's definitely got... He's had his citrus. He's happy. Bit of blood orange. Is he going to spill some blood? Oh, look at Pasito. Oh, we saw that in the background. Oh, with the latest of moves. Look at this battle back here, though. This is a fantastic race so far. So we've got seven up. We've got Pasito. It's Black Hammer, AK, the blood instrument is in... In Pasito tonight. I do believe he drove at the last race, so he's a bit bit of a fan of the old Kirks. Great battle so far. Seven ups involved in this as well. So we've got probably seven, eight cars really tacked on for the lead here. Dr. Pepper has taken a lead. This is classic Dr. Pepper. Classic Dr. Pepper. Doesn't like being pushed around, but Agwim just goes, no. I'm the smaller known brand. I'm getting involved here. Oh, look at this. There's a bit of cansmanship on the front straight. Bit of weaving. These guys don't be really like to be kicked along the curb. Great battle out front. This is fantastic racing. They dive in now. Dr. Pepper on the outside. Agwam on the inside. Does he hold that nice tight line? He does. That's a beautiful line there by Agwam. Oh, but Dr. Pepper's got the elbows out. Classic Dr. Pepper here. And still is in the lead. How did he hold it through there? That's fantastic racing. Oh, look at this. Might jump on board here. Jumping on board solo. Well, oh, that solo just lost three positions in one corner. Oh, he's a bit wide. Keep it on the track, son. Oh, Pasito just goes right past the blood instrument and the plucky Tasmanian as well. Oh, Solo's getting absolutely munched here. But we all know a Solo man never gives up. You'll crack a Solo, spill half of Danny's chin and you'll hook back in. Oh, Agwim! Agwim's all gone! I don't know where Agwim's gone! He's just trying to bugger this. I'm not popular in Australia. I'm driving to Austria. Then I drove to Austria. Now, bugger it. I'm going driving to Switzerland. He's had enough. Heading back up the front now. Looking at Dr. Pepper and Sprite. So, Crunchy Diff getting involved here. Sprite's oh, right on the inside here. Does he make it stick? He does. Great move there by Sprite. But look at Dr. Pepper. So much fighting, Dr. Pepper. There's a great little battle here. Dr. Pepper, seven up, Sprite. Absolutely getting into it. Oh, Pasito wants in. Pasito definitely wants to get involved here. He's had enough. He's pulled off his ring pull. He's absolutely getting stuck in now. He's got the big gulp can. They're a bit wide here. Oh, everyone just tidying it up a little bit. We have seven minutes remaining. If you have watched Soda Wars before, you know this is a bit of the holding pattern. And then watch the last three minutes. But up the front now, the Cyborg in Sprite heading the way. He's going for two wins in a row. Can someone knock him off? Oh, we don't know what happened there, but that was... Oh, he's big driver! And whip has gone again with LMP! Oh dear, oh dear! Agwim and LMP got together and LMP was like, I don't think so. Probably not in that accent though. Sprite keeping it nice and together here. Seven ups right behind him. Dr. Pepper's involved in this as well. Keeping it nice and tidy. Really like a Pasito's race here at the moment. He's kept himself neat. He's just trying to tack onto these front three and give himself a real opportunity. Jumping on board Pasito now. Let's see what he's got. What's the blunt instrument behind the wheel? Oh, looks, oh geez, Coke took, yeah, the extreme line there. 
Soda War guys definitely aren't afraid to use the whole track and some. So it comes through now, a little bit of dead air there, do apologise about that, just grab yourself a quick drink. Watching all these beautifully turned out Soda Wars cars does make you quite thirsty. Oh, look at the battle, it's closed right up now. Dr. Pepper, seven up, Cascades involved. Seven up's just slowly moved his way up to the front now, but it's Dr. Pepper leading the way now. How has this happened? Probably the most unpopular drink on the grid again is up the front. Oh, yes, can control. Look at seven up, seven up's getting the elbows out. Classic Sprite just hanging around, hanging around, waiting for his opportunity. Breaks very late, very late as they head into Castro. Oh, Dr. Pepper, seven up with the extreme wide line and comes back across the track. Oh, right in front of Sprite, that could have been drama. Gee, some of these boys aren't driving like they're 375 mil cans. They're driving like they're the big 500 mil, big gold cans you get. I do remember the Solo one. It was a great can. Oh, great size. But back on the racing now. Sprite's leading the way. We are at nearly under four minutes to go. So tip it into Rint now, into Red Bull Mobile. Sprite definitely obeying his thirst. He's obeying his thirst because he obeys when he's in first. It's a great shot that as they all tip it in now into Castro. Oh, look at this three wide if you don't mind. Oh, Dr. Pepper, that's it. Dr. Pepper's gone. Dr. Pepper's dropped off just like it did off the sales charts. Game over. Angry little six packs now turned into an angry little five pack. Well, what can Solo do? Can he get, get himself back up there? Oh, look at him. Jeez. No danger of these cans hitting that apex at all. Front five putting on a real good battle here. Seven up is leading the way. Sprite's tucked in. Very late on the break, Sprite is. Oh, jeez. Oh, Pasito with a beautiful move. Go. Here comes Coke. Coke. I knew Coke wouldn't be back there for long. Just going to establish itself now. Coke and Solo getting into it. Probably the two of the most well-known soft drinks in Australia there. F fighting for bragging rights. Back up the front now. 7-Up leads the way. Sprite's tucked in behind. I reckon we'll be at two laps to go after this. Oh, Sprite with the super late move. Doesn't hold on to it. Oh, Dr. Pepper's gone again! Oh dear, oh dear. Dr. Pepper's having massive dramas there. And here we go, tips it in. Seven up now. Still got the lead, Sprite's there. If I was seven up, I'd be extremely nervous seeing Sprite there. Actually, I'd be more than extremely nervous. I would be absolutely petrified. I would be shaking in my can. There's no doubt about that. Look at a cascade, though. The plucky Tasmanian's just hanging around, hanging around. Oh, Agwim's gone again. Jeez, Agwim's had a very exciting race. Sprite 
right, leading the way. What can 7-Up do? Can 7-Up challenge for the win here? Oh, not after that. I think we can count 7-Up out of proceedings here. Now it's on to Solo. What can Solo do about Sprite? Or a Sprite with the cyborg behind the wheel going to take another win. I think he's built a big enough gap here. This is, this is drama for the rest of the field. This is big drama. I think Sprite's going to hold on here. The battle for second position's on though. Who wants to be the top lemon flavoured drink? As they're about to cross the line there, this will be the last lap. Sprite does hold on for the victory. Seven up in second, Solo third, Coke fourth. Oh, great racing again from Soda Wars. They never fail to produce. Action, drama. Oh, they are fantastic. What a great... They are so good to watch. Great fun to call. Tiring to call, but great fun to call. So that's Soda Wars, run and done. Fantastic. I thought 7up may have had an opportunity there. I thought it got the slipstream out of Red Bull Mobile, but once again, Sprite with the cyborg behind the wheel is just too strong. Great drive by Solo. Yep, that's a name we are getting used to seeing here at Through House. There's no doubt about it. So what we're going to do now, guys, we will jump over to the supercars room and see how the guys are getting on. Won't be a moment there. Hope you've all enjoyed Soda Wars. So hope everyone's enjoying their night tonight. Welcome Stance. Welcome Excalibur. Black Hammer. Hope you enjoyed that, mate. So as usual, guys, in chat, uh, be sure to type your winners in tonight, your driver of the day. Any questions you have in between, sort of... Fire them away at us, and uh, I will endeavour to answer them at my bestest. That's not even a word, is it? I don't think it is. So tonight is Super 2 Group B. Uh, this actually will be a very interesting race. Um, I reckon there's a couple of guys really keen to get themselves a win. Uh, of course, there also is the uh, NASCAR. Hi, mate. Hope you're well. Uh, of course, there is the opportunity as well to move up um, to Super 2A, which is uh, always a, a really good incentive as well. Uh, I definitely... That would fire me up. I know that. So the guys probably haven't started qualifying yet, so we'll just uh, sit around and have a bit of a chat. Uh, so we got, uh, Mikey, that was wild. Uh, yeah, it was wild, mate. I don't know where you were driving up at turn two. Uh, I think you, I think Excalibur put it in the chat. Uh, you forgot, uh, you forgot that it was the short track. Uh, Black Hammer, aka The Blunt Instrument. Thanks, guys. Love my nickname. Uh, you're welcome, mate. I try to get every, I try to get pretty much everyone nicknames. Uh, it's something I like doing. Um, trying to get nicknames for 70 plus guys, though, is pretty tricky. <laughs> See you, Brocky, mate. Hope enjoy the rest of your night. Cruising, great, great race, great to watch. Yeah, it's an absolute blast to watch. How can you not enjoy good old Soda Wars? And you can say it with a bit of a bogan exit. Yeah, well, Soda Wars, there you go. Uh, Excalibur, hey, Sean, hope you're feeling better. Mate, I'm pushing through. I've got me lemon and honey drink here. Um, you know, the show must go on. I'm sure Crompo does, and Scafi don't take sick days, so neither, does, neither do I. 
Uh, Mikey, autopilot was heading to, to, to long track. <laughs> when did you realise? When the wall was coming up? or? <laughs> so if he is available, we will see if the good doctor is in the house. Are you there, good doctor? Check, check. Good evening, sir. How are you, mate? I'm very well, thank you. How is yourself? Yeah, good. We just had our uh, successful test start. So we're just going about to reset the room and get these guys off for some qualifying. Excellent. That's what I like to hear. So look at so we will get to see um, the full qualifying tonight. So I'll be able to do a proper uh, through house inside line. Uh, so looking forward to that. Uh, and of course, the good doctor will have a good chat about the race, what we're expecting. So we might head to the track now just to get a bit of action happening. So this is our track. This is our track tonight. Uh, so we are at the Red Bull Ring in Spielberg in Austria. Uh, 4.318 kilometers, 27 laps. Uh, we're going around tonight. Uh, time of the race will be quarter past three. The weather is a beautiful day with some slight cloud cover and wind from the southeast. Uh, we run on racing soft tires. Uh, fuel, we run and tire wear runner times four and the lap record currently at the moment is a 127.292 which is quite frankly ridiculous so it should be an interesting race tonight there good doctor what do you, you feel the same yep yeah no this looks actually going off a couple of these test starts i did the first one with the safety car which was just a normal slap around the safety car but then i did a couple more with just the guys on their own I said, just go for it, boys. Just get around as quick as you can so we can do a couple. And, uh, yeah, she's wide open at the front tonight, mate, I think. I like it. I like it. Uh, here we go. Clint to go, go. Welcome, mate. Hope you're well. Dadson, Soda Wars is so much fun. Yeah, it looks an absolute blast. Uh, Doremus is in the house, so we don't have to ask him who he's going for tonight. Uh, that's a silly question. Uh, if you've seen social media, CP Racing, uh, they are everywhere. Uh, they do social media like Fabian Coulthard. So we'll head to the track. Qualifying has begun. Uh, so we might jump on board. We might just wait till them circulate. And we'll jump on board someone for a lap. And we can uh, go for a lap around the beautiful Red Bull Ring in Spielberg. What do you feel? Do you like this track, good doctor? Are you a fan of it? I do. I do like this track. It's a, uh, it's a very good track, actually. Couple of interesting corners to keep uh, keep you guessing. Yeah, I, I agree. It looks simple though, doesn't it? It looks simple on paper, but um, I think it's the undulation and and the uh, and the um, like change in height on the track. Yeah, it's coming into some of these corners. So some are uphill, some are downhill. So you either either breaking way too early or way too late. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we got uh, Clint Go Go, Dim Brothers 1 2 tonight. Completely unbiased. Uh, Luminous, evening fella. Evening Luminous, hope you're well, mate. So we, we might jump on board Johnny JC, I reckon, for a lap of the Red Bull Ring in Spielberg. So jumping on board now. So it's quite a short main straight. Um, the braking area into turn one is uphill, so you can brake quite late. Uh, into Castro edge turn now, it's a really tricky corner Castro. You don't want to take too much of the inside ripple strip and you also don't want to use too much of the outside. It can really unbalance the car. Then another short shoot down to, the next two corners are definitely the most trickiest on the track. So this is Remus. Uh, really hug the outside and then turn it in do not even dare touch that little yellow yellow nipple uh, it'll absolutely throw you into the wall another little short shoot again building up speed you're probably looking around 240 250 kilometers an hour into the toughest corner on the track this is shash gold really weirdly cambered corner as you can see there the car just wants understeer doesn't matter what you do it will understeer now it's a really great section of the tack, into Roush. Great set of corners is coming up. 
Fourth gear, sometimes third. Power out of it. Get right on the outside there and tip it right into Worth Curve. Don't be aggressive as well. Into the classic corner with no name. And then up over the rise into, in my opinion, the best corner on the track. This is Rint, named after Jochen Rint. Great corner, downhill, cambered, lovely. And then Red Bull Mobile, because we all know Red Bull hates a bit of South promotion. And that's a lap of the absolutely beautiful Red Bull Ring in Spielberg in Austria. So looking at our runners tonight, that was Johnny JC. Uh, we've also got a brand new member to throw house, DJ Brian, check, check y'all. Uh, so DJ's picked up a contract with Dimp Brothers. So congratulations, DJ. Uh, we've got Berserks there in the beautifully turned out Bico Hyundai. Uh, we've got my mates back. I'm Steve-O. In the lovely Aston Martin there. Dilza, dugga dugga, for Devil Motorsport. We've got Jim Bob, second of the Dimp Brother boys tonight. We've got Grim Death in the Boost Mobile, Aston Martin. Uh, updated livery as well for these guys. Uh, this is the reflecting the current WAU livery, so that looks absolutely beautiful on the grid. We've got SS Boy in Old Yeller. We've got the Moth in the Rabble for Powerhouse Racing. Uh, Excalibur's dead for everyone who is watching. Um, and we've got Flat Stick as well for C&P Racing in the Drive BMW. So in terms of strategy tonight, the hot tip has been the three-stopper. Uh, most people are going the three-stopper, so that's what it should. That's what it's looking like tonight. Ah, looking here at Napoleon Black Dynamite, who does go to the top of the timesheets with a 129.790. Thoughts on tonight, good doctor? Any gut feeling? Ah, uh, look, it's going to be it's going to be quick. There's some quick guys at the front. We've got Grim Death, Black Dynamite. John JC are all very quick in the Aston Martin at the moment. SS Boy's been, been pestering around the front of the grid in practice racing earlier in the day. And uh, DJ Brain has come out of the blocks really fast. So we just to see how he goes over a full race distance. Yeah, very interesting. He's, he's had a few Soda Wars races, so he's, I think he's got a bit of an idea about through house. But um, let's see what he does after that. Because it's all good racing in Soda Wars and that, but when you get up to these cars, they're a whole different kettle of fish. Yeah, five, six laps in when the tyres start going off and the car gets light and you're in a battle with somebody else and you've got to give track space. and It's just it's a completely different story when you can't just pump the guy up beside you. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure there's probably a couple of guys here that are really keen to get up to Super 2A as well. Absolutely. Uh, I reckon I reckon Dills is the smoky tonight though, mate. He's uh he's been putting in some really, really good laps early. You're keeping an eye on him, he was up around the front. Good old Dugger Dugger. Little, uh, Hyundai flag there against this swarm of acids in this group tonight. Yeah, I was just starting to see that there are acids everywhere. The lap times are very even too across these guys. We've got a couple of guys in the in the high twenty nines and then up, up gaggle of them in the 30 flats. Now I can confirm the Hyundai is quite good around here. Quite good. Um, so it's definitely a smoky. Got a BMW. So we've got a nice mix of cars, but Aston looks like the hot tip tonight. But I've always said how you qualify and how you race are two very different things. Well, hopefully uh, these Aston boys have taken, taken note of... Uh, how the captain went the other night, putting on a full drive in that Aston Martin to uh, to win convincingly. Yeah, fantastic. So uh, hopefully these boys have done some homework. So it's as, interesting. Uh, flat stick, yeah, flat wow. stick goes to P2. Oh wow! What's interesting though is um, so Astons have taken out two races, and some bloke in a Hyundai took out the other race. So BMW and Mustang are being a bit locked out at the moment. Looking there at flat stick, but Napoleon Black Dynamite still with a point for half a second gap. He's just dropped to a 29.5. It's 
this is probably the best chance for BMW here tonight so far, I think, because we've got flat sticker and we've got also got GFL there, just in the background of the shot there. Um, very, very quick uh, BMW operators, these guys. Flat stick here, looking for his second win. Hopefully we get another video. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you haven't seen, yeah, flat stick gets quite excited when he gets a victory. Uh, yeah. He actually had his beautiful partner video him when he got the win last time at uh, St. Quire and it went viral. So Napoleon's come in now. So this is what happens sort of this mid part of qualifying. A lot of the guys now just be Running around, burning fuel. Some solid bank laps in at the moment. A lot of the guys are in very low 130s, and there's a couple of 29s. But we'll see the time start to tumble very shortly here. This is the car start getting light, fresh tyres, plenty of grip. Just looking out shadier for Max at the moment in sixth position. Not a bad qualifying there by Shady. Uh, been slowly improving. Yeah, the uh, the Devil Motorsport boys have been putting in a lot of time, a lot of time practicing. Shady and uh, and uh, Dilza, in with um, Daz and Rex, putting in a lot of development case on the Hyundai's this season so far. Really, really having a crack trying to improve, which is great to see. here at Grim Death, who has his partner watching tonight, so pressure's on. She was active in chat as well, so ooh, no pressure there, Grim Death. <laughs> I know for myself, when Hannah watches me race, I get bloody nervous all the time. Oop, GFL just snuck into the top five. Another solid bank lap there for some. Oop, bit wide out of one though. GFL, one of my absolute favourite turned out vehicles. So we're probably going to get to happy hour very soon. Approaching the halfway mark and qualifying now, and then the business end starts. We will start seeing time start to tumble very quickly in the last 10 minutes, because most of the cars appear to be just around the half a tank mark. Yeah. So they're going to start into that really light, fast part of the uh, qualifying very shortly. What's interesting around this track as well is you really notice when the fuel loads drop. Some tracks I feel you don't feel it as much, but around here, oh boy. I feel this track here is a lot of either accelerating or slowing down. There's no sort of just going at, yeah. a, at, a, at a constant pace. So you're either on the brakes or you're trying to accelerate out of a corner. And the lighter the car is in that situation, the far better it will perform. So you do notice the light load, like phenomenal increases in your in. Oh, it's just got off in front of the camera there. Um, yeah, the cars, will, the cars will get lighter and faster and you'll see a second or so drop out of the times. We're going to see a quick one out of Black Dynamite in a minute too. He's just coming around on his uh, recce lap. Might stick with our current pole, provisional pole setter at the moment. Just sitting in behind SS Boy there, trying to get a little bit of a slipstream. Extra cu a couple of K an hour, won't hurt. Very aggressive into Castro there. Used the whole curb. He picked up a penalty. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. Flash has just, just improved again in P2. So he's starting to chip away at that gap now. He's still due to go in for new tyres. Oh, Grim Death! Just P2. Oh, wow! He's putting on a show now. <laughs> he's going to yeah. go two quick ones back to back here, I reckon. I've found that as well around this track. You can get two quick laps out of it. Um, the tyre drop-off 
isn't that severe that you only get one quick one. Uh, we are heading to, after this round, we are heading to the Nürburgring. I can give you the hot tip, you won't be able to do that at the Nürburgring. It'll be one lap sprint, so that'll be very interesting to keep an eye on as well. Looking here at DJ Brain, check, check you all. He just went out on a quick lap. He's just come off his off his uh, out lap. So he's on his way with the light car, sticky tyres. Beautifully turned out. Dent Brothers Racing, Shell V-Power, Team Penske, Dick Johnson Racing, Mustang. Boy, that's a mouthful. Black Dynamite doesn't improve. Flat sticks on new boots now too, guys. Just going to keep an eye on DJ here. Does he spin the wheel like he spins the decks? I know, that was a bad joke. Sorry, guys. I had to get it out, though. <laughs> he looks He's looking good here at the moment. He's looking very good. He's got some nice lines. That was beautiful. I'm sorry, purple Perth. sector. This could be a quick lap. I don't know how good it was because it, it flicked up and down pretty quick, but it was definitely purple. Goes through Brent. Now he's got Red Bull Mobile to navigate. What's the time going to be? Lovely through Red Bull Mobile. That was a beautiful line. It's going to be a good time. This looks very good. Goes bang straight to the top of the timesheets. <laughs> oh boy. Just drops in with a 29 flat. He has oh, announced God, himself. <laughs> Signed wow. the contract today. The ink's not even dry yet. Wow, this guy's... Talk about flying Clint. in a quick guy. Clips into the chat just as quickly. Boom, <laughs> take that. <laughs> Well done, Clint. Love it, mate. Just keep an eye here on Napoleon Black Dynamite. What's he got? Can he improve? No. Okay, flat six sets off in his quick lap. Oh, he's overrun turn one. He's just pulled it up. Oh! oh that was close. That was very <laughs> close. <laughs> just another one, too, there, mate. It's good to see the, uh, the team guys in the chat again. Great to see you guys in there supporting your drivers. I can see Apex, I can see CP Racing, I can see DVR, I can see... Where else we got in there? Powerhouse is there too. Grim Jets just set off for another quick one now guys. Just keeping an eye on flat stick here. Just want to keep an eye on him, see, what, see how his lines are. Not bad through Worth. Lovely. That was very nice through the corner with no bloody name. Now heading down to Rink. You, you, you can make a lot of time here. You got to be really aggressive though. Oh, he's very wide. Keeps it together. Will this improve him? Currently in sixth. Big lap. Oh, up to fifth. Small improvement. Oh, Jim Bob. He's just popped it. Oh, Dick Brothers are one oh, and no, two. Bob. Oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> wow, well, Jim Bob just goes, all right then, guys. I'm just going to drop in the top here. Thanks very much. So we were meant to have another racer tonight. Uh, unfortunately, though, Killer Pro for Jandal Performance Racing uh, is... Fallen ill, uh, is currently in hospital. So if you are watching, mate, rest up. Uh, hope you're well. Fight fit, and we hope to see you back out and track very soon. Yeah, certainly. We're, we're thinking of you, mate. Berserk just sneaks into P3 as well, guys. Starting to hot up. He's just got purple sectors for for sector one there. So a little bit wide through turn two, slides it. Oh, it's just been that lap. So between you and me, good doctor, we know what Clint's like in chat. Oh, he's going to be Double unbearable boom. with this. <laughs> <laughs> Do we dare ask Double if he's driver boom. of the day? Oh, he's got to split him now. So who's going to win, Clint? So just having a look here, just seeing what the guys are doing. Johnny JC looks like he's filled up. Put a set of fresh boots on. About to head out for a quick on the moff scene as well. So this is... We're about to hit a happy hour now. 
I'll give him the four minute warning just to really put it up him. So currently, DJ Brain, check, check, y'all, is in first position with a 129.052. Good old Jim Bob. He's in second position, just point one off the pace, so not much in it. Uh, Clint's voted for himself as driver of the day. Classic Clint. As he does. <laughs> All right, four minute warning just gone out, so we're going to stop at 20 minutes and 30 seconds, as per usual standard time for us. Just take into account the slower guys getting into the lobby when the time changes at the start. Pressure on now. Berserks has got a purple first sector again. Can he hold on to it out of two? Oh, white again. This is where you earn your thrill checks now. Jim Bob's on an outlap. Black Dynamite's on a fast lap. Grim Death is on an outlap. White Sig with Black Dynamite. Flat Six just had a. Oh, Flat Six just another best sector. That's sector two. We'll keep. Not the fastest overall, but he's quickest. Keep with the poly and Black Dynamite at the moment, but we will keep an eye on Flat Stick as well. Just seeing where he is on the track. He's actually in front, so we'll go to Flat Stick for. Oh! Very interesting line there through Rint. Didn't look like it wanted to pull up at all. Nice power down there out of Red Bull Mobile. What's he got? Can he improve? No. And he's back with Napoleon Black Dynamite now. Comes Berserks under the straight. He's on paper. This is going to be his last shot, I reckon. Not quite. Goes to P3. I th he might be okay there. Oh, oh Napoleon Black, Black Dynamite. Dynamite. P2. <laughs> oh, wow. Here we are, boys. Shots fired. Here we go. I think Berserks is done. He's running out. He's, he hasn't enough fuel to do two laps, so he's, he's over. What's Jim Bob? Grim oh, Death, we'll see. Jim Bob's done. Ooh. Yep. Oop, Jim Bob's pulled it in. Berserks is just did a building sand PB castles. second sector. Oh, oh, keep an eye here on Grim Death for Brock Balls. Can he sneak it up the, towards the front a bit further? You really. Beautiful. Row line. three's. If you spot the start, you'll be on the outside of row three out of P5. Oh, oh it keeps hold of a car control. Where does oh, he go? Quite. No, misses out. All right, flat stick into the second to last turn. No fuel left in the car at all. He's out of the pits. Oh, no, so he's done. He's done. He's that finished. Looks like our grid, I think, is just about set. We'll just keep an eye here on Johnny JC. Can he improve? He might be pretty close. Might be close. He does. Up close. to fifth. Great job there, mate. Well done. But I reckon that's qualifying just about over. We've got about a minute to go. A minute to go. Oh, DJ. Will he get around in time? This will be very interesting. We'll keep an eye on it. He does have pole position. But can he improve the time? Currently point. Zero point oh, Steve, zero. Oh, Steve-O goes to six. Oh, I'm Steve-O. Oh, oh mate. We're going to fuel on board too. Oh, well done, oh. Steve-O. I'm Steve-O. Just snuck that one in there. Oh, GFL's getting caught in traffic. It's going to ruin his run. 30 seconds to go. Half of these guys aren't going to finish. Who are the guys around the top of the track there? So apparently a couple of guys have to start off the back of the grid. Is that correct? I have. I'm not sure. Jim Bob <laughs> just posted that he did. So I'm not all over that. Just keep an eye on DJ. Does he improve his time? No. So DJ Brain, check, check you all. That's it. First day in through house, bangs it out with the pole position. Great lap, by 129.051. Napoleon Black Dynamite will finish in second position with a storming lap. Jim Bob with an asterisk is in third position. Grim Death in fourth. Berserks in fifth. Six is Johnny JC.
Seventh is oh, Sebo. Eighth is Flatstick. Ninth is GFL sixty thousand underscores. Tenth is the Moth. Eleventh is Shady. Twelfth is Dilza Dugga Dugga. Thirteenth is SS Boy in Old Yellow. That is qualifying. Run and done. Great stuff, guys. Well done. Uh, just going to clarify on yep. DJ Brain there whether he's going to go to the back or not because he's a ring in privateer driver. I'm not sure what the deal with And Jim Bob as well. He put it up in chat that he had to start at the back, but I'll leave that to your discretion, my friend. Uh, so who got it? Oh, Mighty Moe's joined us. Hi, Mo. Hope you're well, mate. So I do excuse my voice tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a little bit under the weather, but all good. Okay, so I can confirm that Jim Bob and DJ Brain both start from the last row of the grid. Oh, wow. Yeah, because uh, Jim Bob was unavailable for the Group A race. And um, and like I said before, DJ Brain is an invitational driver coming in just to warm himself up to fill the grid tonight. As you can probably tell by the livery on the car, it's not actually a Super 2 car. It's oh, a Championship yes. Series car. As he takes Hoff's drive in, in the Championship Series, he'll go to Group B following Sunday. Uh, Excalibur's so just, guys to just asked if you start. could snap the qualifying times, please. I oh, know that you've probably done that. Sure have, sir. I'm about to use it to set the grid, so give me two seconds to organise that and I'll be all over it. Evening, Alien. Hope you're well, mate. Uh, Mo, crazy afternoon. Hope it's a calm race. <laughs> So, when this thing catches up, so I can see what I'm doing. So that's interesting there. Now that they're off the back, that's really going to add, a, as Mike would like to say, a spicy meatball. So that is first position overall and third position overall going to the back of the field, which elevates Black Dynamite to pole position and Grim Death to P2. Oh, wow, look at that. That's very interesting. So two, P3. Two acids off the start. stuff done as quickly as possible guys and give you a grid order very uh, shortly Clint go go we have the pace look out Oof. Uh, noble let's keep it clean boys uh, this is this is I reckon known as the gentleman's class I've been calling okay uh, so go ahead sir I'll leave it to you I have a grid order for yeah. you sir Okay, so the grid order as as follows. Black Diamond is on the pole position with Grim Death on his outside, inside. Can't remember now, sorry. <laughs> uh, Berserks and John Chassis are off row two. I'm Steve-O is elevated to fifth position overall after all that. Uh, Flatstick in, P5, in P6 there off beside him. JFU on the MOF off row four. It's a great position for the MOF off the start there. Shady FMX and Dilza round out row five. Uh, row six is SS Boy and DJ Brain, and Jim Bob is car number thirteen, so he's off the final row by himself. So the moth, as you know, is Excalibur's dad. I might actually start calling him King Arthur because I believe King Arthur was the one who pulled Excalibur's sword out. But I'll have to check on that story. I'll uh... <laughs> we'll get back to that. So this should make for a okay. really interesting race, actually. I'm actually looking forward to this, because there's going to be a, quite a different bit of pace, and there's going to be different strategies. I feel most people will go the three-stopper. So as always, guys, throw up in chat. Who do you think will win tonight? Um, as always, keep the chat flowing. Uh, big thank you to all our viewers. Hope you're enjoying the night. Uh, so we are about to go racing soon. The beautiful... Uh, uh, Peter Max safety car is now out on track uh, with the good doctor behind the wheel. Now let's yep. we won't analyze his driving style too much. But our car, other super ca can't be any worse than our other safety car driver who tends to put in the fence sometimes. Uh, on that subject, I think I've nutted out how to yeah. stop it from flying across the track 
when you go to when you go to start the race. Oh. So hopefully it works out well for me. It does involve me coming from a complete stop though off the side of the track. So we are a, an official donator for Peter Mac as well, and 10% of our all profits made here at Through House do go to the Peter Mac Foundation. Uh, so as always, you can see on the pop-ups there, guys. Uh, please make sure you do check out our website, uh, which has the Through House Arcade shop as well. Uh, there's some really great content on the website. Also, for any guys that <laughs> any guys that um, want to join as well please don't hesitate to put in an application uh even for soda wars as well uh we'd love to see you guys sort of racing in soda wars uh sort of i have a bit of a dream for soda wars i'd love to see just all public members and none of our regular three house guys that'd be really awesome because it's a great concept and i absolutely enjoy calling it uh mikey wow shots fired i still love you mate It worked. It worked. It Fast worked. Stopped. Hey! So we're about to go racing. Through House Supercars. Super 2. Group B. Round 2 from the Red Bull Ring in Austria. We have 13 Through House Supercars on the grid. Oop, I've got one missing. Who's that? Oop. I'm Steve. I was missing. Hopefully no, he drops not, back in as the race not. starts. No, oh, oh, okay, yep. Yeah, That's no, there's, all. A, there's a great, there's a, oh. yeah, okay. We'll see how we go. All right, we'll see how we go. Heading back to the track he might now. Might just drop in. Revs rising, clutches engaged, tension rising. The fight for Super 2A starts now. Oh, we've had a couple of jump early. We are racing and everyone does get off the line, do they? Yes, yes, they're away. Yes, they're away. So head up now to Castro. Looking like it's Napoleon Black Dynamite. He's got a grim death on the inside, but Napoleon Black Dynamite takes the lead. So Aston's one and two oh. currently at the moment. Shady at the next was off in the first turn. He's rejoining 13th. Oh, we've got Aston's one, two, and three at the moment. This is bit of an Aston party at the moment. Napoleon Black Dynamite does lead him away. Grim death is right behind him though. Doesn't want to let him get away too early. Got Johnny JC in there as well, so the Black Duck boys have got the arms out early. Berserk's there in fourth. I'm Steve Owen fifth. Flat stick in sixth. Oh, look at that. Berserk's there in the fourth position. Can he Let's keep an eye there on Berserk's. We might jump on board with Berserk's in the Apex Motorsport Hyundai. Going through Worth now. Couple of different lines there we saw from the guys in front, but Grim Death does take the lead from Napoleon Black Dynamite. Oh, Berserks has got a big run here on Johnny JC as they head there down the ring curve. Can he send it? No, thinks better of it. Playing the long game early. That's what we like to see. A little bit of restraint there. But it looks like the Grim Death will lead him across the line for the first lap. The standing lap time for 135.610. Oh, Napoleon Black Dynamite. Oh, team. Oh, oh three oh, wide. Oh. There's three wide. Oh, there's oh, drama. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, there's drama. Oh, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Crunch. Oh, oh we just seen. We're just oh, trying to get wow. you. That was. So we can get a three house uh, dock up shop replay. SS Boy clipped him on the way through. There's engine damage, front end damage, and wheel Let's damage. Let's have a look. Or Wrong with, with Johnny JC, so he lost the rear. Oh, oh, no, kept it. No, everyone avoided him. Oh, no, no. SS boy clobbered him. Oh, that's going to hurt. That is going to hurt big time. That could be his race run and done. And what ha that has done is open Grim Death out to a two, two second lead. Oh, check out 7th through 10th. These guys are too wide through turn three. Oh, look at this battle. Oh, oh dealers are having a look. Dills up the inside. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so DJ, Bra DJ Brains moved himself up the six. He's got through the traffic. That's a very good start from the back of the grid. I feel for you, V8, mate. That was that was tough to watch being a black duck guy. 
Jim Bob's trying to make his way through. Oh, geez. I'm Steve O taking a very interesting line there. Oh, look. Look at Just look at a DJ here. Oh, he's going to try and clear the penalty. He's got Jim Bob on the inside. He's going to pull it up. He does just. Oh, Dilza! Dilza with the big move! Oh! oh Dilza's gone! Oh, wow! wow. <laughs> Checking back with our leader now. Still at around two seconds, but oh, look at this. Flat stick. Flat stick's having a look. Flat stick's all over. Big look. Gives him a hurry up. Get a move on, Black Dynamo. <laughs> punch, punch, punch. Keep going. Just jumping on board here with Flat Stick. Let's see what he's got. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, for Assassin's Creed. Oh, ooh. Oof. Yep. Uh, <laughs> no comment. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Black Dynamo's stuck in the sand. He can't get out. Oh, no. He's losing the whole field stream pass. Black Dynamo's in 12th. So this has really opened up the door now for Grim Death. I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for V8. Wait for it. It's going to come in the chat any second now. Okay, so Black Dynamite is 2.9 seconds behind Shady in 12th position, and John JC is 34 oh. seconds off the back of the field. Looking here at DJ Braid, no, he has moved his way up to fourth, so this has been a fantastic drive so far. Flat stick just goes fastest with a 30.4. Just looking at this battle here. Oh, look at this three wide! Berserks! DJ! Oh, g -Fel. Oh, who's that? That's gone! g fell has gone. gone! We don't know what happened, but g fell has on gone. He's dropped down the order like you wouldn't believe. Randy back up the front now. Flat stick's really starting to... DJ... Oh, to turn three. DJ Brain on Berserks. Still side by side, these boys. Oh, look at that, nice, DJ. Nice pass. DJ Brain has moved himself up to third now, and he's off after the leaders. He's carrying some serious pace. Look at there, Grim Death there with a 1.5 second lead. Flat six, not letting him go, but they're going to be looking in their rearview mirrors very soon because there is a Mustang coming and coming very quickly. Just going to put a shout out there for Excalibur there. The Moth is in P7. Inside the top 10. That's a great result so far for him. Hopefully he can keep it up. Looking there at King Arthur. Okay, the Moth. Apparently, from what I've heard, he is lowering him into a false sense of security. He's, He's going to make Black Dynamite's race here. He's just on the back of these guys now. He's obviously got the pace. And it'll come down to how mature he is trying to get around him here. If he's oh, going to be in a hurry. Oh, 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 oh Shady. Do oh, well. feels her as well. Oh, big bump. Oh, oh that was a huge bump. Black Dynamite's got front end damage again. Black Dynamite, is he going to get through? Oh, he does. Takes the wide line. Just gonna check him back with our leaders because we're gonna battle on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. Flat six, cut the lead to under half a second. Here we go. Pressure's on now. We're at lap five, so they will be starting to think about pit stops. Oh, he's having a look already. I reckon he's going to set him up for a move, probably at Rint. That's where I'd set him up. Just sit him behind here. Get a nice tight exit. Then fire it up the inside up at Rint. The problem is the Aston has such good rear grip. So good out of corners. He's going to have a look here at Rint. He's thinking about it. No. Just does a bit of a lounge. Shows the nose. Geez, had a good line through there, though. Now through yeah, Red Bull Mobile. Check up. Oh, he's got a lovely drive and out again, of Red Bull Mobile. Here we go. Battle for the lead. Side by side as they now head up to Castro Ledge turn. Can Flastic take the lead? Side by side still. Later on the brakes. Who's later on the brakes? Who's braver? Does Flastic take the lead? He does! Ooh. With a beautiful move! Grimdeath's still there. He's still there. Oh, but look at this. 
There's a head up towards Remus. How grim death is dog. First thing's got to come to the inside. No, oh, he's not going to get it. Nose. He's giving him the inside bat. No, grim death up the inside. Oh, yes. This is. Crisscross. What? Criss -cross. Criss -cross. It's oh, unbelievable. Crisscross is on. What a race. This is fantastic racing. These Super 2B oh. boys are not mucking around. So these boys here are slowing each other up massively though because DJ Brain has taken a second out of him in that last couple of sectors. He's closing in oh. fast. Grim Death just ran wide there. Fat Sick looks like he's going to take the lead again. Oh, he's on, he's the, on the outside. outside here, though. Oh, that's not the place oh. you want. Oh, sweeps well across. Done. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, he runs it very wide there though as he heads into Worth. What can he do? Gets Ooh, a nice exit. No, oh, gets a nice exit though. Holds on to it. Nice little bit of car control there. But DJ Brain is coming. He's coming. He's got the eyes on. Ooh. Ooh, it's still got great drive out of the final turn there. Not as, not as, as any wheel spin at all. He's going to look into turn one. Just the lounge gives him a look. Jumping on board here with Grim Death here at the moment. Classic currently in the lead. You can probably see in his rear view mirror there, DJ Brain, so he knows that the pressure's on. We're on lap seven. Who's going to blink first when it comes to pit stops? Oh, he's very late on the brakes. He's very late on the brakes. Oh, 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 oh twitchy on the exit. I just opened the door a little bit there to flat stick. Just an update there on Black Dynamite. He's now in P6 and he's running purple sector laps. He is coming home like a freight train here, guys. Six seconds behind I'm Steve, but closing quickly. So we're at lap seven. This is if you're gonna do a three stopper, this is where you do it. So who's gonna blink DJ. first? DJ's on these guys now. All the cars are about the same. DJ's used a lot more fuel than the other two, though. That will play out in the pit stops. There's no doubt about it. So we are going to save the leaders here. Let's see who does cut in first. Flat six going in. Flat yeah, six in. Grim Death's in. They're, They're all in. in. Okay. It's a battle with the pit crews. Deep Brothers have got the DJR guys on board, so they've won a couple of pit stop challenges two years in a row for the enduro oh, wow. season. So, okay, so Berserks goes around again. So does Steve-O. So does Steve-O. Okay, we will keep an eye on that. Black Dynamite's got him with the leaders. Black Dynamite's in. So most Green of the guys... out first. Oh, interesting. He's already gone. He's already leaving. GFL went around again. Death's out, flat six out. So Grim Death has jumped flat stick in the pits. So what, what's going on? So Grim Death's short field, he's only got half a tank. Flat six just over half, and DJ Brain's gone to three quarters. So DJ Brain's running a longer tank field for that one. He's gonna make up the ground later in the race. He has the car pace. So I, I think he's backing himself to, to catch this 5.9 second gap up without having to do it in the pits. Slightly risky strategy for mine. Because these cars with half a tank are going to be naturally quicker. So, interesting strategy. We will see how it plays out. I like it. He's backing himself. I like it. That's what I want to see from a race driver. He thinks he can do it. So, it's good to see. So, what's Berserk's do here? Berserk's car has almost as much fuel as the guys that have already pitted. Wow. He's going to run along. Very interesting. Has he been having a chat with maybe Mr. Noble there? A bit across the Hyundai. Steve O'Duck's in. See, Berserks is looking for a two stop, do you think? Uh, I, I, see, I feel around this track, the two stops just. You either got to three stop it or one stop it. There's, I just don't feel the two stop works. Wee's well, terminal speed at the approach to the first turn was 260. Grim Death is 258, so he was, he was on pace with them. 
Very interesting here. This is going to be a really interesting to watch. We'll keep an eye on Berserks. Just having a look at Flat Sick and Grim Death. Oh, oh, DJ Brain. Oh, he's out of driver. Oh, we'll crash a threehouse.com shop replay. I think that was just a slide, but that's going to give that's going to give Black Dynamite a massive sniff here, guys. Just having a look here as he heads up towards Remus now. What happened? Turns it in. Looks nice on turning. Oh, did it? Yes. Just a little bit too aggressive on the old loud pedal. That I think that's really opened the door. It's giving DJ a real big uh, trouble with the black, black Dynamite right behind him there. John JC is caught up to the back of the field now, guys. He's four seconds off the back of Shady, so he's actually caught up. I'm going to head back up the front there. Ah, uh, Berserks is in. Okay, lap nine, so he's two stopping. So Berserks has gone in and Flat 6 has gone fastest again with a 129.4. So those two boys there, SSL and, and Flat 6 have come out of the pits and they've put in some stonkingly fast laps to get out in. It's what you want to see. Get the cars up to speed quick and get back up on the pace. But this battle up the front's really brewing up nicely. These two have not let each other go. Oh, Grim Death's gone wide! Up. He's just opened the door for Flatsick. Flatsick struggles to get the power down, but Flatsick does take the lead. Nice. Uh, just quickly update on Berserk there. He's just come out of the pits with four new tyres and a full tank of fuel. So chat is lighting up the strategy talk. It's great to see. Looking at our two leaders at the moment. We have hit that point of the race where we're just getting a little bit of a holding pattern now. Guys are just trying to establish a bit of a rhythm. So Berserk says dropped in behind, behind. Oh, I'm Steve -o. Oh, oh! Oh, that was close. SS Boy and Jim Bob. So, <laughs> out of turn three, there's a bit of a slide and then some touching, and oh, here we go again in turn four. SS Boy. Oh, jeez. Tell you what, so far it's a great drive from the DBR boys off the back row. Very Apparently impressive. Third and seventh position. And they've both had moments as well. It's not like they've had smooth. So Jim Bob so now. Flat six extending. Oh, okay. We'll head back up the front now. Let's have a look. The gap's out 1.1 seconds. Is flat stick making his move now? Is he going flat stick? He's got a fuel advantage on Grim Death as well. Wow. I never thought I'd Not say. Not caught too early. Uh, Never thought I'd say that about a BMW. Yeah, I agree with you there, Hardsoft. First and second battle so far. This is, this is the best we've seen it throughout for a while, actually, because there's usually someone out in the front and then the battle for second. So to see the leaders battling it out like that, it's great to see. It's fantastic to see. We might stick with our leaders at the moment. Just currently looking on track there, seeing if there are any little battles unfolding. It looks pretty spread out there at the moment. Okay, okay, so DJ's running some pretty quick laps in third position. He's down to 9.7 seconds off the back of Grim Death, but he has a massive fuel advantage over the two guys in front, so he's going to pick up a lot of time through the pit stops in the second stop. That's interesting. They're on a three-stopper as well, so it's going to be interesting how they play this second stop and what their strategy is for the third stop. I feel oh, the under investigations have come up already. <laughs> lap two, turn one. Lap three, lap three, turn three. Lap four, turn one. Lap five, turn one. Jeez, my York. So our head steward's very keen. Likes to get him out early. Let's click in the bed. Yeah. Okay, so Grim Death needs to start to extend here now. He needs to get on the back of Flashy. Can't let him sneak away. He's going to lose position through the pits on him as it is. Oh, fast it goes deep. Oh, he almost didn't pull that up. I just saw that in the corner of my eyes. Oh, dear, oh, dear. 
he lost a chunk. He lost half a second just by that little mistake. Just going back through the field here, looking here at Shady FMX, Johnny JC, and the and the Moff. Looking there at Shady. Nice little battle. These guys are fighting over ninth, tenth, and eleventh. Steve-O has moved himself up to fifth position, so a great drive so far by Steve-O. Another best sector for DJ Brain there for the third sector. He's just holding them at 9.6 seconds at the moment, but he has pulled away back from the Black Dynamite again. He's now to 4.4 seconds clear of him now. Is that gap, the gap between Flat Sick and Grim Death there. Oh, so Flat Sick lost 0.3 of a second just in one turn there. Really struggled to get the power down. So Grim Death definitely not letting him go. I think Flat Sick might be overdriving a little bit here because his car's starting to really hurt the tyres. His fuel's okay, tyres are hurting. Whereas Grim Death, fuel is, uh, is a detriment, but the tyres are looking much better. So he's going to catch up a bit here before the pit stop. Well, that's the thing with the BMW. It's got a really, I find, a really small window of operation to get the most out of it. You overdrive it just by two or three tenths and she's all over. She just starts dancing and wiggling and... With the Aston, it just requires a completely different driving style. You've got to be a lot smoother on your inputs. Oh, the Ooh. split. Grim Death's in. Oh, Grim Death's in. Now, that's interesting. He's going for the he's undercut. He's out of fuel. He's out of fuel. He's got his yeah, fuel numbers all run. Oh dear, oh dear. Flat stick did feel a little bit more in the last stop though. That's Does it. DJ... That's, DJ's gone around again. That's interesting. Like Dynamite's gone around again. I feel Grim Death here now needs the best outlap he's ever done in his life. Can't afford to come out in traffic here too. He's going to come out. Just behind Steve and Berserk, so we're now fighting for fourth place. He does not want to get caught in this little battle. Well, we know Berserk's is going to go around for at least two or three more laps. What does Steve O do? Because Berserk's car still has three quarters of a tank of fuel and he's still fuel saving. Wow. Oh, St Steve O just stopped on the apex in front of him there and he gave him a big punt up the backside. Plastics car starting to struggle. This is exit in the S's now. It's not looking happy. It's starting to understeer pretty badly. Just keeping an eye here on Grim Death at the moment. Just seeing how his car looks. Has he got the foot down or is he just just waiting for his opportunity? Here comes flat stick. Flat stick's in. Now what also a thing to keep an eye on as well. So because Grim Death has gone in that lap early on that side of the strategy, he's gonna have a lap older tires at the back end of the race. He is. So DJ's gone in as well. Just a little fuel advantage over flat stick. Oh, dynamite's in. Oh jeez. Oh there's battle in the final turn here, I can see him coming down the map. Just looking at Grim Death here, he, the attitude of the car. Flat moving. Ripping that car. So we close. Flats is going to get in front of these guys. Oh, he's going to brain them out in front. He's a long way out in front here. Oh, that's massive for the race. That's huge. TJ Brain's just texting now. He's lost a lot of time through there. Wow. I don't know what's happened there, but... He's put a little bit more in it again this time, so... He's, gonna, he's aiming for a very short field at the end of the race, looks like he's going to make up a lot of time later. That's interesting flat sick though. I think that could be the race there. We won't call it early, but that's a big move. To have that Grim much of a nice gap. Oh. That was lucky. Nice bit of awareness there from, from Grim Death. Just to back out of it more, because Steve didn't see him coming. Turned down over the front of him. So 
So what does Grim Death do here? Because he can't overdrive the car. To, he's going to have to just chip away here. Clint, yeah, Clint's saying that he's overfueled that DJ brain. Oh dear. So the Dent Brothers pit crew have got their fuel numbers all wrong. Someone will be getting a talking to after the race. There's no doubt about that. So that's put, mm, that's put DJ Brain in a bit of a bit of a no man's land at the moment. So the leads, the lead, technically the lead is scooched out to 4.3 seconds when you take Bozerks out of the equation at the moment. So we are over halfway, so I'm going to run through the field now, guys. So in first position is Flat Stick for CP Racing in the drive, BMW. Second position is Berserks in the Apex Motorsport Bico Hyundai. Third position is Grim Death in the Boost Mobile for Aston Martin for Brock Balls Racing. Fourth position is Upstevo in uh help. racing thank you there good Red doctor <laughs> fifth position is dj brain check check y'all for dead brothers sixth position for black duck racing is napoleon black dynamite seventh position is jim bub in the second of the dead brothers entries Eighth position is SS Boy in Old Yeller. Is he in red line as well? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, crunch. Oh, what are DJ we... Brain just, just... Oh, DJ hang on, just hang on. It. Sorry to interrupt. Sorry to interrupt. We've got a massive battle here. Oh, this big drama. GFL. Shady, the moth, got absolutely into it. We will grab a through house dock up shop replay. So is there any other, oh, there's a touch there on the straight. Another touch there. They're going virtually four wide into one. That's not going to work, gentlemen. Oh, that could have been a lot worse, but wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, to go back to what I... <laughs> DJ Brain just caught... I'm Steve and Berserks, who were going much, much slower and just slammed into the back of him, Steve, at mid-corner because he just wasn't ready for the speed differentiation. But, so he's lost a lot of time trying to clear those two guys. He has now cleared them, but he's 10.5 seconds off the back of Grim Death. Oh, dear. So he's lost uh, over a second through that pit stop and getting caught in traffic there. So he's got a lot of work to do now. Flat stick has extended out to 5.7 seconds clear of Grim Death now that the traffic's out of the way. So to finish running through the field, we have Johnny JC in ninth position for Black Duck. Right up his bumper, there is GFL 60,000 underscores for, for, for... Help me out here, good doctor. Uh, revolution. Thank revolution. you. <laughs> uh, 11th position for Devil Motorsport is Shady FMX. 12th position is The Moth, aka King Arthur, aka Excalibur's Dad. And 13th position is Dilza Dugga Dugga for Devil Motorsport. That is your running order. We are on lap seven, 18 of 27. Your current leader is Flatstick. He's about to catch Dilza for putting the lap down. This could be massive for the run. Oh no, Dilza, class operator. Oh, just great. just on the brakes and jumps out of the way. Well done, Dilza. Good job, Dilza. So, as we've come to inspect here a little bit at Red Bull Ring, the gaps have just opened up quite substantially. Oh, there might be a little battle brewing here between Napoleon Black Dynamite and DJ Brain. Yeah, Berserkers. He's 17 seconds behind Black Dynamite, but he is he's fueled done. to the end as far as I'm aware. So he's he's going to go from there now, guys. So he's the, he's the benchmark everyone needs to get in front of. I'm a big Berserks fan. Oh, no. Guess what, he's, guess what car he's got? He's got the DeLorean. Watch out, ladies and gentlemen. Berserks has got the DeLorean. So this is an extra half a second. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> I was just trying to figure out what you're talking about there because I can still see his wheels on my screen. <laughs> so he's going to see oh. Doc. 
and he thought, right, I need to catch these guys, so he's unleashed the DeLorean. He's got his flux capacitor and it's ready to go. I don't know what's happened to Grim Death here, but he's just dropped off the pace massively. He's, the, the oh, that, oh, oh, oh! Car can drop! He hasn't even cleared deals yet. He dropped four seconds in a lap. Plastic's going to clear Shady FMX there, hopefully. Maybe. Not quite. That's really opened the okay. door now for Flatstick, hasn't it? Great job, Shady. Good job there getting out of the way, mate. Appreciate that. Just, just having a look here. Dills gets out of the way, it looks like. He's trying to. He's trying to. In the breaking zone So to zone put that now. in perspective, DJ Brain is the same distance behind Grim Death as Grim Death is behind Flatstick. It's amazing how much can change in one pit stop. Like, they were right together. And just that, yeah, just very interesting. Maybe going in that lap early has hurt him. Who knows? The debrief will be the car doesn't look bad, though. I don't understand it. I should clear deals are here, coming into the straight. Oh, oh, maybe not! He's hit him! He's hit him! Oh, dear! Ooh, don't know how that one's going to play out. We might see if we can a throughhouse.com shop replay. On board now. The Grim Death. Dills is good. Ooh, ooh. All right, I'll let the smarter brains work that one out. Better click that pen again, Mo. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. But up the front now, Flash 6 has only got a 10 second lead. I reckon he can start putting the champagne on ice, CP Racing. Mrs. Flat Stick better get that phone back out, start recording yeah, the second yeah. in for us when anything. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like the battle at the moment, deep between DJ Brain and Napoleon Black Dynamite. Black Dynamite's been close the whole time, but just hasn't been able to get on the back of him for some reason. It's just. He's been within about two seconds for the last couple of laps. But they're both catching Grim Death. DJ Brain's on the back of Dilzer as well now. Oh, here we go. We've also got Jim Bob. Oh, DJ Brain's gone! He's off! Oh! Oh! I'm not sure what happened there. It might have been something to do with the, Getting a the replay. Car situation again. Let's have a look. We will jump on board with our throughhouse.com shop replay. Oh, 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 no, oh, he's just outbraked himself. Oh, yep, he's just outbraked himself. Oh, dear. This is what we're saying at the start of the telecast, though. This is the first time DJ's had to run this long. Tire wear, fuel wear, fatigue starts to get in about lap 20 now, too, so. Yep. This is, this is where, this is where the race is really run here. Every lap starts getting so much harder from here on. Even when the car's fresh on its last stint, it still feels still feels tired. So DJ Brain's got to come in again. Oh, will Berserk's jump him? That's going to be interesting. I think he will. Berserk's is on three quarters of tank. Jim Bob Jr's right at the back of Berserk's too, though. He has to stop as well, but he's going to catch up a lot of time through the pits. Flat stick and. Grim Death will both be in this lap, they're both on the fuel line. Plastic needs to clean in lap, clean out lap, and he should be home, I'd say. Just keeping an eye here on Jim Bob and Berserks. Oh, oh Jim Bob's gone! Oh, Jim Bob's else. gone! Oh, he's just absolutely clobbered the wall. Oh, that's just literally hand of Berserks, minimum fifth spot now. Okay, so Black Stick's in. I'm assuming. SSL is going to go in now as well. And he does. And Black Dynamite should be in with them as well just now as well. <coughs> Flastic has a slight fuel advantage. So Black Dynamite straight forward, well. Oh, DJ. Oh, 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 um, okay. We'll just leave that one alone. Oh, look at the fuel difference. Oh, yeah, interesting. 
DJ Brain's got quite a bit of fuel there as well, so he may be able to run pretty hard now. He comes with Berserk Center straight. He's not going to get Grim Death. He's going to get DJ, though. He might get DJ here. It's going to be close. Keep an eye here on Berserks. It's going to be very, very close. close. He's got him. He got He's, Black Dynamite. He got Black Dynamite. Easily. He's in P3. Wow, Berserks in P3. Has put a little bit of a strategy master stroke here. Black Dynamite's in a fresh car with low fuel though, so fuel's about the same, but Berserk's tires are starting to hurt already. What can he do? Can he just he's just gotta place the car in the right spot. That's all he's gotta do. <laughs> Flat stick is pushing hard on his outlap. Holy crap. He doesn't need to. There's a big slide. <laughs> He's right out over the apron with the big tail end out there. I thought, oh god, here he goes. He's going to go. Chat's already calling it, asking for Flash Six Wife. Get the camera ready. <laughs> Who's around at the top of the track there? Uh, let's have a look. Ah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Napoleon Black Donald's gone for the move, does it easy. More tyre. More goodness in the tyre. And just goes, thank you very much. I'm done. Berserks is in. Oh, Berserks is... Ooh. What? Oh. Is he just getting some boots on, is he? Oh, he must be. He must feel that he... Felt that he can't drive it anymore with those tyres. Okay. Interesting. Tyres are going on. He doesn't need the fuel. There's fuel going in. Oh, okay. He's splashing it. So, he's going to come out behind DJ Brain here. And I'm Steve, I'm in fourth, but out of sequence. So, he's effectively fifth position at the moment. And now he's got the same car as everyone around him. Oh, you just heard there. I'm Steve, those cars really struggling with turning there. Front tyres are just going, no, nah, that ain't happening. See, I'm seeing most close for fuel here. He might actually just try and sneak it home. This will be interesting. So it'll, be on, it'll be on canvas, though. It's already starting to slide. See the attitude of the car. It doesn't look nice to drive at all. Black Dynamite just did the fastest second sector of the race so far. So start thinking about your driver of the day, guys. Oh. Flat sick looked like he was burning a penalty there. Pretty sure they'll be getting nervous down to CP Racing. Doesn't need to go out and set purple sectors now. He can just back it off. He's got the fastest lap. No, he doesn't anymore. Because yeah. Napoleon <laughs> Black Dynamite just goes bang with a 128.8. Let's just see if passing them off. His thought was, well, if I can't win this thing, I'm going to get some bonus points. It's flashing the lights. Them off there, get out of the way. Look here at I'm Steve O, DJ Brain starting to catch him now. Might jump on board with the big Mustang. Oh, he's off. Cool. Another one's off. Ah, it's Dilzer again. Oh, I'm Steve O's red very wide. He's driven it all the way to Germany. And DJ Brain goes, Thank you very much. I oh, will take fourth position. So the race so far now is Grim Death and Black Dynamite. It's a 3.4 second gap with Black Dynamite pumping out fastest laps. He's trying really hard to get on the back of Grim Death here. He needs to be on the back of him by lap 25 though. He can't afford to. He's going to have to catch him quick. Being through house and I want to call it too, too early but... That's the thing too, Grim Death's going to start seeing him appearing in the mirror now too, he's, yep. he's within 3.5 seconds, so he'll start showing up in the mirror. Napoleon's coming. Good deja vu for flat sticky, he's about to pass Dealser again. Dealser gets unlapped through every pit stop and then he gets oh. relapped again shortly after. We've got a battle on our hands for second position here, ladies and gentlemen. 
The gap's at 2.6 seconds. It's coming down all the time. Napoleon Black Dynamite's got some real pace on board that Black Duck Aston Martin at the moment. So we jump Just on board now. In two. Just know Grimdesk's going to be looking in the mirror. Just going, oh, he's catching. He's catching. That red Fujitsu bonnet's going to get really, really big in a minute. Really big. Oh. Ooh, Black Duck oh, did a bit oh, going in there. <laughs> he's pushing hard. Oh, he's using the whole road as well. Really he's aggressive on turning there. Again. Here we go. He's definitely... Here we go. We're going to race on. Two laps to go. Can he pass him? Catching is one thing. Passing is very much a whole different thing. He needs to be within a second by turn one. He needs I, to have a whole I, lap and look at him. Look at this, he's all oh, over he's him here. Catch it quick. This is going to be the fastest lap. Not quite. 129.1 though. Gap's under a second. It's a visual gap now. You'll have the eyes on. You watch the attitude of Grim Desk car all of a sudden change very quickly. Oh, there's a lap car coming up on him now too. Look in your mirror, Shady. Grimdesk flashed his lights back. Get out of the way, he's flashed his lights. <laughs> he's like, oh, Shady comes across. Oh, that's really made things interesting. Is it heading down out of section gold? Oh, this is not a place where you want a lap car when you got a car right behind you. This is not Shady the place really you want it. This is not the place where you want to catch a lap car. Oh, Napoleon, does he hold on to it? He does, just, but oh, he's, that cost him time oh. there. Oh, dear, oh dear. Come on lap, guys. Use your mirrors. No, he's not gonna, oh, jeez. He does sneaks round one. This is critical now, can Black, Di can Black Dynamite get round him as well? He was just down the road. He's gotta get him here, he's just gotta get him here. There's no, Wave. Oh, jeez, he's really trying everything. Oh, oh no! no! There's a touch! Oh, dear, oh, dear! Black Dynamite just hit Shady FMX up the bum, and that could it? That, that might be it. That might be it. Oh! Oh! Oh, that was close. We'll see if we can get a quick oh, it was a, replay. It was a almost sent Grim Death. Black Duck, Black Duck, oh he's coming down the inside now, he's, he's in point six. He's managed to get out of that with a sniff. Oh, oh. Jesus, this is very close. Just checking in with our leader, seeing where he's at. We'll go. Leader's looking good. <laughs> looking good, Flats, we'll be back in a minute, mate. <laughs> Dynamite's all over, here we go, he's all over Grim Death here. Can he pass him? Great exit. He's got a fantastic exit. He's just got to be super smooth through here. He's got to make sure he hits every apex and maybe set him up for a shot down at Rint or the last turn. That's his only two spots left. Here we he's go. Said, he's he's right on him here. Need to be he's Good right exit. on him here. Good exit. He's got a great exit. Grip death flat covers. Stick. Well done, flat stick. Well done, flat stick. Great win, mate. Goes to wide line, does Grim Death hold on? Oh, Black Dynamite's got, he's going to send it, no, no, yes, no! Does Grim Death hold on? He does! Oh, wow! What a defensive drive by Grim Death, well done. Napoleon Black Dynamite in third. DJ Brain will finish in fourth position, check, check, y'all. Fifth position was Berserks. Sixth position was up, Steve, mate. We didn't actually pit in the end, guys. He went all the way to the end without stopping again. Right drive, Steve, mate. Seventh position was Johnny JC. Eighth position will be Jim Bob. Ninth position will be SS Boy. Tenth position will be GFL 60,000 underscores. Eleventh position was The Moth, a.k.a. King Arthur, a.k.a. Excalibur's Dad. Twelfth position was Shady FMX. And 13th position was Dilzo Dugga Dugga. That is Super 2.
Group B, round two, run and done. Congratulations, Vlastic. Oh. Thanks for the bits, Filthy. So fire in your driver of the day, guys, and uh, we'll get that all done. I know mine already. Yeah, I've got mine already. I'm going to go with flat stick. Oh, yeah? I'm going pressure with... Pressure was on. Uh, I'll go with yeah, the yeah, and Black Dynamite. Yeah, I, I can agree with that, too. That, that, was a, that was a good run for him. Especially with the start, where he had that he did an issue with the first couple of laps. Yep. To get back up through the field like that. So we've got them coming in. So we've got a couple for Grim Death, a couple for Flat Stick, uh, a couple for Napoleon Black Dynamite. Uh, Grim Death just Grim posted. Death stuffed. I'm stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> Hardcore analysis job, there, mate. mate. <laughs> Love the analysis. That was fantastic. Awesome. Uh, Kieran Brewster, shout out to the commentators. Awesome stuff. Oh, thanks, Kieran. What a nice thanks, guy. Mate. Uh, so, Grim Death, Drive of the Day. Drive of the Day, Grim Death from Excalibur. Nobles, Flat Stick. Uh, NASCAR, Flat Stick and Dynamite. Ah, so he's sitting on the fence. Nice. Oh, hang on. So, before we do that, I better go through the field, eh? Whoops. Yeah, you can tell I'm not with it. I'm forgetting even the... Sorry about that, that guys. Might be a moment. So checking our race results. We had Flat Stick in first position. Second position was Grim Death. Third position was Napoleon Black Dynamite. Fourth position was GJ Brian. Check, check, y'all. Fifth position was Berserks. Sixth position was Up Stevo. Seventh position was Johnny JC. Eighth position was Jim Bob. Ninth position was SS Boy. 10th position was GFL 60,000 underscores. 11th position was The Moff, a.k.a. King Arthur, a.k.a. Excalibur's dad. 12th position <laughs> was Shady FMX. 13th position was Dilzo Dugga Dugga. And the fastest lap went to Napoleon Black Dynamite with a 128.873 on lap 23. There's a lot of threes. Wow. Whew. Boy, oh boy, wow we. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so let's have a look there. Flat sick drive of the day. Uh, Clinty Gogo, flat sick drive of the day, as he did not make a mistake. Uh, Doremus voted for flat stick. What a surprise. <laughs> oh, it's going to be close, I reckon, between Grim Death and flat stick. Definitely. It looks like it's going to be pretty close, yeah. Yeah. So as always, viewers, um, any questions you got as well with your driver today? Any questions? Fire them in and me and the... Uh... Ah, no, hang on. So, Robert, Rickard is driver of the day, Grim Death. Ooh, so, ooh it's very close. Uh, as always, guys, throw up your um, um, questions or anything like that. Moment, moment, moment. Just to... This is interesting. Go ahead, sir. Plastic is under, plastic is under investigation for lap three, turn three. Oh, oh dear. So that was a win with an asterisk. Ew. Mm. Be sure to stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. So as always, you can so see with the pop-ups can... there, guys. Just uh, check out our uh, website at www.3housearcade.com. Uh, also on there, there is a link where you can vote for Driver of the Day as well. Um, if you sort of want to have a bit of a think about it and you just don't want to post it up now, uh, definitely chuck that in there. Uh, the moth flat stick for mine, lads. So coming up on Through House, we have Sunday night is the Group A's boys uh, back to supercars at the Nürburgring, round three. Uh, so we go live at 7.20 Australian Eastern Daylight Time. That's 7.20 Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, so looking forward to that. That's going to be an absolute rips and order. Uh, I know there are a few guys struggling with the Nürburgring rig at the moment. Uh, I'm going to put my hand up and say I'm one of them. I'm having real issues with it. <clears throat> I haven't turned a lap yet. Yeah. <laughs> so definitely looking forward to that. It should be a lot of fun. Yeah, so 
Thoughts on the race, good doctor? Any sort of things that stood out, or she was action packed for the uh, supposed gentleman's group of the of, uh, of through house. There's a lot going on. Uh, yeah, I yeah. can see eleven things under investigation. Wow! Just, just by what people have seen in the stream alone. That's without anybody putting anything in. So she's definitely an action packed race tonight, guys. Well. <laughs> Uh, Nothing short of exciting. Are you a steward, good doctor? <laughs> uh, I believe I am, actually, sir. Have fun. I will double, I will double <laughs> check that. I'm looking at it going, please, no. Yeah, I am. I'm not <laughs> too steward. Oh, good. <laughs> I have saved the uh, replay, Mr. Mo, so... Uh, oh, <laughs> whenever you're ready, we'll, we'll have a look. Uh, thanks for that, Clint. Appreciate it. Uh, Grim Death, happy with second. Good drive, Grim Death. Great drive, mate. Well done. Great drive. Yeah, great drive, mate. Well done. Uh, Moz Killer, there was some twitchy racing, lots of pressure, great racing. Oh, thanks, Moz. Yeah, it was some great racing tonight. Um, I f yeah, that fight for second and third position was fantastic. Uh, we do love a last lap battle. Who doesn't? I, I quite like the exchange between Flatstick and Grim Death as well for, for second place. That was um oh, for first place. Sorry, that was um some really, really, really clean driving too. Whew. So um, as always, guys, uh, do appreciate all you all you got. Oh, thanks for the bits, good doctor. Geez, you're a good guy. <laughs> um, as always, guys, thank you for everyone tuning in. I hope you really enjoyed tonight. Um. As I said, tune in for Sunday for Group A so the big boys get to flex their muscle uh, and go around the Nürburgring. ring. So that should be really fantastic. Really excited about that. Uh, Jim Bob, pretty happy with my result with no seat time at all. Yeah, well... Uh, wow. Well done, wow. mate. Good job, Jim Bob. Uh, DJ Brain, uh, I want to top eight, so I'm happy fourth. Ah, fair enough. Definitely top eight. The, uh, I'm, just, I'm just having a look at the uh, the grid for Group A Sunday. It's a another very stacked grid, um, and with the Dimp Brothers car not being in Group A, the second Dimp Brothers entry won't be in this week. Oh with yes, the, uh, with the Hoff leaving us, so that'll bump. Um, as far as I can see, from what I can see right now, it's going to bump NASCAR out of Group B into A. Wow. From what pressure. I can see at the moment. It, that is that is based justly what I can see at the moment. That may change yet, who knows? Oop. But it looks like it's gonna be Mr. Brent, Brocky, Knuckles, Hardsoft, Warden, Clint, Gasballs, V eight, Cruisin, Mikey, Mr. Jalen, Noble, and Terry. Wow, Oof. that is loaded. Oof. That's a big grid. Uh, Excalibur, I'm out, lads. Next, Netflix and chill time. Thanks for the entertainment. Top notch. Uh, enjoy. <laughs> 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 uh, Grim Death just didn't have an answer for Flatstick. Yeah, he was pretty quick tonight. He drove a solid race. Yeah, it was a great race for Flatstick. So, first podium, yeah. Grim Death. Was that Grim Death's first podium? I'm just trying to think. I think it might have been, actually. Uh, Moss Killer, any chance of a DeLorean Cup after tonight's appearance, boys? <laughs> now, that's pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> There's no video. Miss, Mrs. Flatstick was attending to a little Flatstick, so there was oh, no video. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, we'll have to replay that other one again. Yeah. Ah, uh, kids, they always interrupt at the right, wrong time, don't they? <laughs> Any chance of a DeLorean Cup after tonight's period? Yeah, yeah. Actually, Moxzilla, there's usually a DeLorean appearance in every race at the moment. Yep. Someone pops into pits and forgets to put the tyres on. Last week we had a car with only two tyres on, which was very interesting. So uh, The captain ended up winning the race with only two wheels on. He did. So, as you can see, Grant Trius made working as intended. <laughs> Uh, so what else is happening in Throughhouse? Uh, next Wednesday, very exciting hump day coming up. Uh, 
They're back, ladies and gentlemen. The Porsches are back. Yeah, boy. They're back. Uh, so, bit of a rejig. Um, but they're back. Uh, so, it should be very exciting. Looking forward to that as well. Uh, I've seen some of the liveries and they look absolutely fantastic. So, that's going to be very oh, it's exciting. It's going to be great. I can't wait. Uh, and then next Thursday, it is Super 2 Group A's turn to go around the Nürburgring. So I will be stepping out of the box and into Michelle uh, and seeing if I can uh, go for three wins in a row. But I'm going to give you the hot tip. I'm not overly confident. Um, just, yeah, I'm really struggling at the moment. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I'm struggling. But that's all right, you know. These things happen. Um... Yeah, so got anything else you want to say, good doctor? Anything you want to talk about? The Porsches, maybe, no, a little I'm bit? Pretty... Or... Oh, I can talk about the Porsches all night, if you want me to. <laughs> we'll probably save a bit more of an intro to the Porsches for Sunday night, uh, after the Group I, I A race. that'd be the right idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we'll uh, give you a bit more detail about what's happening with them. Um, big thank you to all our viewers tonight. Um hope you've enjoyed tonight's action. Massive thank you to Wardo for hosting the Soda Wars room. Uh, another cracking Soda Wars race. Uh, but we definitely have to get someone in there to beat the Cyborg in that Sprite car. That's We can't have that happening all the time. Uh, so get together, boys. Work out a strategy. Uh, massive thank you to the good doctor tonight for, one, hosting the room, but also joining me in the box. Uh, so thank you, good doctor. <laughs> it was a pleasure, mate, as usual. Um, so, but other than that, guys, unless there's anything else I could think of, um, yeah, no, not really. I'm pretty much, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is Sean, aka Ghost, signing off for now. Uh, please join us on Sunday night for um, Group A Round Three from the Nurburgring in Germany uh, at 7:20 Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Um, that's going to be an absolute cracking race, so please don't miss that. You will enjoy that. But this is Sean, a.k.a. Go, signing off for now. And as always, you've been watching Through House. <laughs>